This is uh, question number six from section 5.3. And for this problem, I need to find the equation of a line which is parallel to this line and it also has the same intercept as uh, 5x minus 3y equals to 10. Great, okay, so a lot of information going on in this particular problem. So if I wanna find the equation of a line that's parallel to this line, then those two lines must have the same slope. So step number one, we have to find the slope. Right, so we take our 3x plus 4y equals to 8, and I need to find the slope of this line because the line that we're looking for is parallel to this line. So those two lines will have the same slope. And if I take my uh, 3x and move it to the other side, I get negative 3x, and then the plus the 8. And then I can divide both sides by 4. And if I do that, uh, the 4s here will cancel off and I get y equals to negative three over four x, and then plus, and then eight divided by four is just two. All right, so uh, if I'm looking for a line that's parallel to uh, this particular line right here, then the slopes need to be the same. The same. So the slope of the parallel line will be just negative three over four. Okay, so let's box that. We'll definitely need that for later on. And the other piece of information that's given to us in this problem is that the line that we're looking for has the same y-intercept as this line. Okay, so now I have 5x uh, minus 3y equals to 10. So it has the same y-intercept as this line. Okay, now when you're dealing with the y-intercept, uh, by definition, the x value for any y-intercept is always zero. So this just goes to zero, and then you're left with just negative 3y equals to 10. And then you can divide both sides by negative three. And then the negative threes cancel off and you get y equals to negative 10 over three. So the y-intercept is gonna be zero comma negative 10 over three. Okay, so now the goal is, uh, I need to write the equation of a line that has the slope of negative three over four and has the y-intercept value of negative 10 over three. All right, so there's different ways to do uh, this particular problem. I'll, I'll kind of take the longer way to finish off this problem. So I will use the point slope form of a line. All right, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill in the value for the slope, the x1 value and the, and the y1 value. Okay, so uh, if I do that here, my slope is gonna be negative three over four. And then where's my x1 value? Well, my x1 value is zero and my y1 value is negative 10 over three. So if I substitute those values in, I get y plus 10 over three on the left-hand side. And then I get x minus zero on the right-hand side. So there you go. Uh, there is my equation of the line here. And what I need to do now is I need to just change this back into standard form here. So let's go ahead and distribute this onto the brackets here. If I do that, I get negative three Actually, I'll put this in red here. I get uh, negative three over four x, and then negative three over four times negative zero is just gonna be zero. And then I can take my positive 10 thirds and I can bring that over. If I bring that over, that becomes negative 10 over three. And then I have my y on the left-hand side there. Okay, so this is looking uh, pretty good so far. Now I need to change this back into uh, standard form. So. Uh, Take a look at your denominators there. I have a three, sorry, I have a four and a three here. So the least common multiple between four and three is gonna be 12. So let's multiply everything by 12. Okay. Now on the left-hand side, 12 times y is just 12y equals two. Now this is the tricky part here. I have a 12 here. So do 12 divided by four first, right? So I have a 12 here, divide that by four. 12 divided by four is gonna be three. And then three times negative three is gonna be negative nine. So I have a negative nine X there. And then uh, what's 12 divided by three? Well, 12 divided by three is four. And then what is four times negative 10? Well, four times negative 10 is negative 40. All right, so we do quite a bit of those exercises in class. You can just kind of uh, make sure you get your calculations correct there. And then finally take your negative, sorry, not your negative 40, but uh, take your negative nine X and bring that to the other side. If I do that, I get positive 9x and then positive 12y equals to negative 40. And this right here is your final answer. 9x plus 12y equals to negative 40. Okay, let's so move on to uh, question number eight now. So for question... 
Okay, let's move on to question number eight now. And question number eight is similar to question number six, um, except for this time we're given the x-intercept for this line, right? So our goal is I wanna find the equation of the line and that line must be parallel to this line and have the same x-intercept as 3x minus 4y equals to five. Okay, so just like question number six, I would go ahead and find the slope first and it's parallel to this line. So I need to find the slope of this line right here, which is 2x plus 7y equals to 10. All right, so if I wanna find the slope of this line, you need to isolate for the y term. So let's go ahead and move this 2x to the other side. And if I do that, I get negative 2x and then plus 10. And then I can divide both sides by seven. And if I do that, the sevens cancel off. Then I get a y on the left-hand side, and then I get negative 2 over 7x plus 10 over 7. Okay, so there is the equation of my line, and uh, therefore my slope is negative 2 over 7. So if it's parallel, the slope of the parallel line is going to be negative 2 over 7. And let's go ahead and box that because I will need that for uh, I, will, I, will, I will need that for something else later in the problem. Okay, uh, let's go back to the original problem now. And uh, the equation of the line must have the same x-intercept as 3x minus 4y equals to 5. All right, now when you're dealing with an x-intercept, that means the y value goes to 0. All right, so 3x now equals to 5. And then you divide both sides by 3. If you do that, the 3s cancel off, giving you x equals to 5 thirds. Okay, so what is the x-intercept? The x-intercept is five over three, and the y value is zero, because by definition, for a x-intercept, the y value is always zero. Okay, so now I have a point, which is five-thirds comma zero, and I have a slope. Now I need to find the equation of a line that has um, you know, an x-intercept of five over three and a slope of negative two over seven. So in order to do that, I will go ahead and use the equation of a line, which I will use the uh, point slope formula. And if I do that, this will be my x1, this will be my y1, and my slope is gonna be just negative two over seven. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So negative two over seven onto x minus five over three. And I have a y minus zero on the left-hand side. So uh, in calculus 12, we can actually just take this as a final answer, but for uh, grade 10 math, we will go ahead and just uh, distribute this now. And if I distribute that, I get negative two over seven X, and then I have a plus, and then just do the math here, right? So two times five is gonna be 10, right? So 10 divided by, and seven times three is gonna be 21. So 10 over 21 there, and then I have a Y over here. All right, so Right now, this is written in slope-intercept form. Uh, what we should do now is we should write this. Um, we should write this expression in standard form. So, taking a look at the bottoms here, I have a seven and twenty-one. Uh, the least common multiple between seven and twenty-one is twenty-one. So, let's multiply everything by twenty-one. Okay. And if I do twenty-one times y, I get twenty-one y equals. Now over here, you gotta be a little bit careful here. I have a 21 here. What's 21 divided by seven? Well, 21 divided by seven is gonna be three. And then what is three times negative two, right? This is negative two, right? So three times negative two is gonna be negative six. So negative six X. And then the 21 here and the 21 there cancels off, giving you just positive 10. And finally, the last step you have to do here is you take your negative six X and you bring it over. So that's gonna become positive six X plus 21y equals to 10, and that's your final answer there. Okay, let's move on to uh, question number uh, nine, I believe. Uh, I wanna find the equation of a line, and this time it's gonna be perpendicular to this line, but has the same y-intercept as this line. All right, so our goal is we still need to find an equation of a line that's perpendicular to, to one of those lines, but has the same y-intercept as the blue equation. Okay, great. Uh, so step number one, I would find the slope. So uh, I need to find the slope of this line because the equation that I wanna find is perpendicular to this line. So let's go ahead and find out what the slope will be if it's perpendicular here. So the two X goes to the other side, which is negative two X. 
and then the plus 7 remains on the right hand side. Then you divide both sides by negative 3. After that you want to simplify. So y would equal to, I get a positive 2 over 3, x, and then I have a positive and a negative sign, so that's going to be negative 7 over 3. All right, so there's my equation on my line, and since it's perpendicular to that, um, the slope that I'm looking for is the negative reciprocal of this. So if the slope is 2 thirds, the negative reciprocal of that is going to be negative 3 over 2. All right, so I will definitely need this slope for later on in the problem. Okay, um, after that, let's go ahead and deal with the y-intercept situation here. It has the same y-intercept as this line right here. Okay, the same y-intercept. Okay, so if we're dealing with a y-intercept, we know that for every single y-intercept, the x value always goes to 0. So that means I have negative 2y equals to 10, and then you can divide both sides by negative 2. And then I know that the negative 2's just cancel off, giving you y equals 2. And 10 divided by negative 2 is going to be negative 5. All right, so my y-intercept is going to be 0, comma, negative 5. All right, so now we're in a very similar situation as, all, as the previous problems in this homework video guide. I will now use the equation of a line in point slope form. And I will go ahead and label this as x1 and y1. And I know that my slope is going to be negative 3 over 2. So negative 3 over 2. And then bracket x minus 0. And I have a y. And now it's going to be plus, right? Since I have a negative 5 there, I get a plus sign there. And that's going to be positive 5 now. All right, so this is looking pretty good so far. Now I want to distribute this. So uh, negative 3 over 2 times x and negative 3 over 2 times 0. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad. This, this will be negative 3 over 2x. And then negative 3 over 2 times negative 0 is just 0. And then if I take my positive 5 and if I bring that over, it becomes negative 5. All right, so y equals to negative 3 over 2x minus 5. Now this is in slope-intercept form. Uh, just go one extra step and write this in standard form now. So my only, my only denominator here is a 2, so you can multiply everything by a 2. And for all these problems, I think multiplying the slope by a 2 is always going to be a bit tricky. All right, so uh, 2 times y is 2y equals 2. And then this 2 and that 2 will cancel off, and then you're just left with negative 3x. So negative 3x. And then ask yourself, what is negative 5 times 2? Well, that's just going to be negative 10. Okay, so that's looking uh, pretty good so far. And after that, I would just take your uh, negative 3x and bring that over. And if you do that, that should finish off the problem now. So now you get positive 3x and then positive 2y equals to negative 10 is your final answer there. Okay, great. We're almost done this uh, homework video guide. Uh, just one more problem. I believe this is question number 11. And another similar problem where I need to find the equation of a line. And this line is now perpendicular to this weird line. And it has the same x-intercept as that equation right there. Okay, um, let's go ahead and find the slope again. So uh, I know it's perpendicular to this line. So 3 over 2x equals to 1 half y plus 1. All right, so it has to be perpendicular to that line. So let's go ahead and isolate for the y term here. So in order to do that, I would take my positive one and move it over. And if I move that over, I get three over two x, and then it's gonna be minus one equals to one half y. All right, now in order to get rid of this two here, uh, you're gonna multiply everything by two. So I'm gonna multiply this side by two, I'm gonna multiply that by two, and I'm gonna multiply this by two. If you do that, the 2's just cancel off, and then you're left with just a single y on the right-hand side. This 2 and that 2 will cancel off, and now you're left with just 3x, so 3x. And then finally, you do have one nice calculation here. Uh, 2 times negative 1 is going to be negative 2. And if I, just rearrange, if I just rearrange this line right here, that's the same thing as y equals to 3x minus 2. Okay, so it's going to be perpendicular to uh, this equation right here. So if I want to find the perpendicular slope, I need the negative reciprocal of 3, which is going to be negative 1 over 3. All right, so there it is. I definitely need this slope for later on the problem. 
And now let's get back to the beginning here. Um, it has the same x-intercept as this equation right here. Now it has the same x-intercept, so you might just kind of recognize this kind of pattern from all the previous questions. And that just means the y variable just goes to zero. And now we have two x equals to nine, and then we can divide both sides by two. If I do that, the twos cancel off and x equals to nine over two. So for an x-intercept, it's really nine over two comma zero, okay? And there you go, uh, I have my point and my slope. And let me just label this as x1 and y1. And let's go ahead and use the point slope equation of a line to kind of help finish off the rest of this problem. All right, so uh, we need to fill in the m value, the x1 value, and the y1 value. All right, so let's do that. So I have y minus zero equals to negative one third, and then uh, x minus nine over two. Okay, so uh, we're almost done the problem now. Now we need to uh, distribute this into the brackets here, and this time we have a little bit of work to do. So this will be negative one over three x plus, and then uh, if I do one times nine, I get a nine, and three times two is gonna be a six, right? So um, nine over six, and then I have a y over here. So technically this is the uh, slope intercept form of the line, which is technically correct. And we should just, just take one extra step here to get this into standard form. So I have a three and a six. So let's multiply by the least common multiple. So the least common multiple between three and six is gonna be six. Let's multiply that by six. Let's multiply this by six. And I'm gonna multiply this by six as well. Okay, so six times y is gonna be six y. All right, now the tricky part here is I have a six here in purple and a three there, right? So six divided by three is two, and then two times negative one is gonna be negative two, so negative two x. And then you can see that this six and that six cancels off, giving you a plus nine. And then the last thing you can do is move the negative two x over, so you get two x, positive two x plus six y equals two nine as a final answer there. All right, and that concludes uh, this homework video guide from section 5.3.